Okay, this is all the gadgets you got to have for your solar electric system. This one down here is a 60 amp DC disconnect, and that disconnects the battery charger itself, which is a TriStar MPPT charge controller. Very fancy rig. It disconnects uh, that from the batteries. This thing right here does. And this guy right here is a main battery switch that will cut the power to my sine wave inverter. 1500 watt sine wave inverter. But right now, it's running the computer, fan, TV, printer, and speakers. And this gadget right here is a um, it's like a disconnect but it also senses any voltage that may get into the ground wire and if it if there's a short in the ground wire or a break in the ground wire it will shut the system down and this goes out to the panels that are on the roof. See up and this is just another breaker, a 20 amp breaker and a DC disconnect that I can shut the power off to the charge controller. So every component has a breaker, a fuse, or a switch to it so each thing can be separated out of the system for safety reasons. You see right now it's uh, 13.4. Even with all this stuff on, we've got good sunlight on it right now good southern exposure so it's really cranking out the power even charging while all this stuff is working I'll show you what the panels look like these are the panels and they are nearly six feet high and just a little over three feet wide pretty big monsters evergreen 205 watt panels at 12 volts 18 amps more or less um, hold on I'll show you the there's the dog I'll go out here and have a look at the batteries real quick there's the sun the panels are up there on that roof roof depending on how you say it I don't have the little box built for them yet. These are uh, Trojan Trojan batteries um, made by a company that makes them for golf carts although these are made for renewable energy uh, specifically for solar panel systems solar electric. Very nice cover that back up for now. Get out here and build this. And then I have another junction box coming down from the roof where the panels are up there. It's the very same ones I just showed you. Not a lot to look out out here but and in the summertime I can run this guy and my computer for free. So while the entire edition, this is the room edition here, is not on not all of it's on the solar electric system, but expensive stuff is. None of this would have been possible without the help and advice from John at Why Not Solar. Guy's fantastic. If you have any questions or you want to buy all the right stuff, you need to contact John at Why Not Solar. Guy's fantastic. Knows everything about everything all the details he knows it and that's where I got this charge controller from a good TriStar 60 amp charge controller you can see the green light and the yellow lights on so that means it's starting to charge a little bit now that everything's running Let's see where it's at again 13.3 yeah it's dropped a little bit okay that's it and again thank you very much John you are a great sales guy. 
Okay, everybody go out and get solar panels now. But look at all the stuff you gotta have. It's ridiculous. Okay, wait, let me show you. In here, that's the AC uh, load center for the entire place. One little box and a big cable. <laughs> Huge difference, huh? Okay. Some artwork too, by the way. Can't see it real well in there, I guess. There's Moses. Some more UFO stuff. That one's cool. I gotta show you this latest, the one I just finished not too long ago, earlier this year. It's a big one. Wow. All right. This is my hangout area out here. Okay. Thanks for looking. Bye.